It is so important to stretch so that your muscles, tendons, ligaments, and joints go back to the resting length after working out. It helps you prevent injury from occurring and it helps you recover so that you can do your next workout. I have seven of the best exercises that you can do using your Total Gym and I'm so excited to share them with you. You're going to start the first stretch with your incline at a medium to a high level with your cables connected. You're going to take your cables, sit towards the bottom end of your glide board and extend your legs. And you can adjust the incline according to your flexibility. So you're going to just hinge forward nice and slowly so that you can feel the stretch into your hamstrings. Keep your toes pointed up and your feet parallel. Drop your head down and just enjoy the stretch. Right from here, you can take it into a hurdler stretch. Then you'll bend one knee, turn your body slightly to the side, and then you'll go straight down over the straight leg. You can add a little twist to this by looking underneath of your arm. And just let that knee that's bent drop down so that it can rest and feel the stretch as your hip opens. Then you'll change sides. Going into the other side, hurdler stretch, go straight forward. Again, your feet are facing straight up, in line with your knee. Look underneath of your arm. And then you'll go into a butterfly stretch, bringing both feet together. Turn your palms up and then hinge forward as you relax down into the stretch. Be sure to just relax the shoulders. And then right from here, carefully anchor down, stand back up, and then you're going to disconnect your cable. Keep your incline right where it's at, and you have your squat stand attached. You'll come down into a kneeling position, placing your hands on the squat stand, and your heel is in line with the bottom base. You're going to go into a deep, nice runner's lunge so that you can feel the front of your hip flexor, your thigh, stretch. So you're keeping your shoulders down, your arms are straight, and you're using the glide board to kind of push into the stretch. You can go into a straight leg if you want to work on your splits. Otherwise, you're just going to stay right there. You can add a little rotation, looking in towards the knee, or you can add a way. If you can go away and grab your foot, you can go into a nice quadriceps stretch. And this is so nice because you use the glide board to kind of move into a deeper stretch. From here, you come to a seated position. Place your feet up onto your squat stand, and you're going to take your leg into a figure four. So this is the seated figure four. You're just going to cradle your knee and your foot. Go you'll hinge forward to feel the stretch into your hip as well as into your hamstring. You can also do this stretch into a supine position, bringing your foot a little closer towards the top of the squat stand, and then just lower your body down as you use the weight of the glide board to drop into a deeper stretch. Again, you can press the knee away and look at the bottom of your foot. This is so nice to open up through the hip. And then right from here, you can come back up, open up your arms, see if you can reach for the both sides of the glide board as you open up your chest. If not, you can do one side at a time into a rotation and then you go into the other side. So again, seated figure four, hinge forward. Supine figure four, drop down. Open up those arms for your chest stretch. Lift up nice and tall, keep a nice flat back. Add your rotation. Good. And then you'll take it into an up dog. So I like a little up dog stretch. So you're just keeping the glide board open, press your hips down and just lift into the stretch. And then right from here, you can hinge forward, press the glide board away, and drop your chest down towards the glide board to feel it open. You can just ride the glide board up a little bit more, see if you can touch your arms down towards the glide board, and then just release back up. And those are some stretches that I absolutely love, and I think are some of the best that you can do using your Total Gem. to stretch so that your muscles, tendons, ligaments, and joints go back to the resting length after working out. It helps you prevent injury from occurring and it helps you recover so that you can do your next workout. I have seven of the best exercises that you can do using your Total Gym and I'm so excited to share them with you. You're going to start the first stretch with your incline at a medium